Hi guys, uh, this is uh, Avengers Tech, and today we're playing on the Night All server, and it's just about sunrise here. Um, and I'm actually riding a horse today. Um, I wanted to show off our, our new horse racing track, and I want to give a, a special thank you to uh, Cytokine for helping uh, build quite a few of the obstacles on this uh, track. And if you haven't seen her channel, uh, uh, please check her out. Um, you know, it's... You know, she's uh, one of our night owlers. And we'll kind of head over to where the horse racing track actually is. It's actually located behind the ice farm. Uh, the ice farm is probably something you haven't seen yet. Uh, it's another uh, one of my builds. Uh, I built this ice farm. Kind of head up on this hill, show you the ice farm. And the horse racing track is actually located directly behind it. It's actually a, st a steeple race track. And we'll kind of put, it, put my horse away real quick. I'm not going to need him for this part. And I'm going to show you real quick. What the track actually looks like. Kind of head up here. Ooh. Somebody's little hidey pole. Uh, haven't seen that before. Uh, but anyway, uh, try to find a good spot to. Sh Actually, I think we'll just we'll pill her up real quick here. And this right here is the horse racing track. Uh, pretty much, uh, what it has is a start area right here. And a well, this is actually a start and a finish area. Because what it does is you have to run the course all the way forward, all the way around, and then it actually loops around right here. And then you actually have to run the course completely backwards um, to actually, you know, get a score. And you actually have to jump all the obstacles. And I'll kind of show you that real quick here. Um, that's why I brought my horse over. Kind of head over here, grab the horse. And it, it's using actual, actually a very simple uh, hopper timer. Um, the way it works is it actually takes items from the top chest and actually feeds it into the bottom chest. The bottom chest actually represents your your time that you actually had. And in order to reset it, you actually have to move the dirt from the lower chest to the upper chest. We'll kind of move them out of here too. Um, and basically it has two lanes, a red lane and a blue lane. Uh, you can actually run either. And, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to actually run the blue lane here. Um, get lined up here. And pretty much as soon as you hit the pressure plates here, it's going to start the timer. And then when you hit the pressure plates a second time, it's going to stop. So we're going to run this and see how we do. So just miss that jump. And I'm going to apologize for the, the uh, little bit of choppiness in the video here. Um, when I'm not recording, this is actually fairly smooth. I'm, but when I am recording, it actually kind of really lower, <coughs> lowers my frame rate. Miss that jump.
All right, there I finished the course. Let's kind of see how I did real quick. Okay. Um. Well, 64 times three is 192. 192 and 16 is 208. So the score to beat is 208, guys. Um, yeah. If you can do that, um, more power to you. If you can't, well, well, the score to beat is 208. And right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you real quick how this these timers work. By kind of digging into, I guess, the red side. Um, pretty much, these pressure plates power a redstone signal underneath. And we'll kind of dig into it. This outer wall is just for to cover everything up. All right, these pressure plates power this uh, redstone line right here. And it actually powers um, this block that's on top here. And this right here is a sticky piston. I'll kind of show you that real quick. And what that does is it actually acts as a sh uh, pulse shortener. Uh, because what happens is the signal comes in, the piston activates and pushes this block up this block right here. And what it does is it gets a one tick pulse out this repeater. Uh, this repeater feeds into it, this sticky piston, which actually moves this redstone block. Right now, the redstone block is directly underneath the hopper. Uh, basically, it, it locks this hopper. And when this becomes active, actually, let me show you real quick. Um, it actually moves this redstone block over here underneath uh, the redstone lamp. And it doesn't retract it because it's a one tick pulse. Now, a one tick pulse into a piston, a sticky piston, will push the block and then it won't retract it. And then it'll do exactly the opposite the next one tick pulse it gets. It'll actually, you know, extend the push arm on the piston and it'll grab the block that's, that's away from it and it'll actually pull it back. That way it can actually, you know, it gives you a, you know, a signal. Well, basically, it moves this block back and forth. And let me show you how real quick. Um, if you see what position it is in right now, it's underneath the hopper. And if you run across this pressure plate here, it moves it underneath this uh, redstone lamp. And right now, the hopper is actually allowing items to feed through it. So if you look in here, you can actually see this chest filling up with dirt. Now, when you come back, um, you know, through the course, and you you run across those pressure plates, this actually does exactly the opposite. Let me show you that real quick. It actually retracts that redstone block, locking this hopper, and basically it, it locks your time. In this case, it took, you know, 64 plus 12, which would be 76. Basically, it moved 76 dirt blocks. Now, this right here is a, a stop button. It's actually located directly above this piston right here. And what that's for is, say, for example, if you have a mob or you, you accidentally activate this like that, uh, this thing is going to start running, and if you want to stop it, all you have to do is press that button, and that'll stop it. It stops it by extending this piston and basically pulling the redstone block back. Now, you can actually press this stop button many times, and it works exactly the same way. Because this now doesn't just get a, a single one-tick pulse, it actually gets a pulse, well, a series of pulses, well, actually, a, a long pulse that is basically coming from that button. 
So anyway, that's pretty much how the timer works. If you got any questions, uh, please leave comments. I will try to take a look at them. Uh, but I want you to keep in mind that uh, I haven't been able to actually respond to any of the Google Plus comments lately. Kind of button this back up here. Um, but I'm definitely going to look at them. And if I can, I'm going to try to answer them. But anyway, that's pretty much how this works. And And again, the score to beat right now is 208. Oops. Which is three stacks of 64 and 16 more. So if you night owlers want to, um, you know, challenge me on the course, um, come take a run and see how you do. Now, one thing about this is we can actually run two horses side by side. We can have a, a red horse and a blue horse and the timers are actually independent of one another uh, so you can actually you can actually race against another person if you wanted to like place bets or or anything like that you can definitely do that also um, but anyway I, I want to give another uh, thank you to cytokine for uh, putting up you know several of these obstacles and please check out her channel and if you like this video uh, please leave a like uh, leave some comments and subscribe. I'll see you next time. I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.